What's happening everybody around with Boss Tables here. We're going to be doing another training video today. I'll be doing some edge starting. 3 quarter inch steel. We'll be using our 65 amp power max to do this on our Boss Pro table. Everything pretty much translates over. It depends on if you're using a 85 amp hypertherm or a 105 or even any of our WHC tables. The process is still the same. I'm going to be trying to get these videos out to you guys about once a week. Just go ahead and like the video, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are kind of looking for as far as videos go, and we'll try and get those up. So let's go ahead and get started here. As you can see, I drew just a 4x4 square. That's what we're going to be using here. So I'll push that through into cam, and this is kind of where we're going to get everything set up. So what I'm going to want to do is change my lead in. I'll go with a line. I'm not too worried about a lead out. You can go ahead and put one in. That's going to be your preference on this. I'm not going to do it. So I got my straight lead in there. I'm going to want to bring that over to the edge. Like I said, I'll turn my lead off. Now what I want to do is get my beginning of my lead in right on the edge of my material. You can see as I zoom in, it gets a little closer. My tolerance is tightened up. So this is basically what I'm looking for. I'm going to position my torch right about in that area, right on the edge of that material. You still want to be able to sense the material in order for it to cut, but I want to basically split that shield right on the edge of that material. Go ahead and run through. Get everything set up. As you can see, it's going to tell me to do an edge start. That is not selectable. It's built into the system. And I can go ahead and push that over to CNC. So I have my torch all set right on the edge. My machine. I'm going to go ahead and, and start cut. my cut. Now you can see there I did mess up with the lead in. I would like that to go just straight instead of coming over and doing that 90. Uh, my bad. I do also really like doing the looped edges, especially on thicker material, instead of just the straight sharp edge option. Uh, this keeps your torch in motion. Um, basically gives you a better edge cut an even better side profile cut because that torch is always in the steady motion rather than stopping for that split second and then turning. Again, these are just normal hypertherm numbers. I did not change the tool chart one bit. We just ran with what we had on default. 65 amp. Nice clean cuts. Thanks for watching.